All right, it's Friday, which means it's time for Cinema Extra. There's a lot to streaming and coming to theaters this week, including a crowd favorite genre, dystopian future. Interesting. Yeah, we love it. So joining us with this week's picks, our resident movie buff, Imager Rome. What you got for us? Yes, it's been a few weeks since I've been in this chair. It's like a happy homecoming. So yes. I'm happy to be here and share with you what I've been seeing this week. So The Truman Show and The Last of Us had a love child, and they called it Fallout. Looks like chaos, but there's always somebody behind the wheel. What is happening here? If everyone wants to save the world, they just... To disagree on how. Based off the uber popular video game, I would liken Fallout to The Last of Us in a few different ways, first and foremost being that it is based off a video game. And also there are a lot of parallels. If you liked The Last of Us, I feel like you would love this. Set hundreds of years in the future, after the apocalypse, the atomic pump, punk, retro, futuristic, both words I got from the Wiki Wikipedia page, but wholly agree on the description. The landscape is spot inspired by post-war 50s America with all its promise and hope for the future, coupled with, you know, the impending fear of a nuclear apocalypse. D directed by Jonathan Nolan, the creator of Westworld, you can stream Fallout on Prime Video right now. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's an interesting concept. I've been, like, eagerly awaiting more of The Last of Us. You know, they're working on the new season now, so this would be a good, this would be a good one to hold me over. An yeah. absolutely good hold over it. You enjoyed The Last of Us. I feel like you would love this because it it like goes back and forth between times. So we have this like idyllic 50s America and then we go hundreds of years in the future to this oh. wasteland and then it's just like back and forth and it's really, really very cool. Mm, okay. Cool. Well, um, from uh, dystopian realms in the small screen, uh -huh. you're also talking about one in the big screen. Yes, new to theaters and also upon that realm of apocalypse and dystopian, we've got Civil War. 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything else. I guess I'm aware there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out. In the near future, a rapidly escalating multi-party civil war engulfs all of the United States, which has become a dystopian dictatorship under its president in his third term. So we follow photojournalists as they risk it all to get the truth out there. It's poignant, but it has enough action to keep you entertained. And despite being a pretty stark social commentary on how society could devolve, you don't leave the theater feeling discouraged, but you definitely leave with a lot to think about. Directed by Alex Garland, the mind behind Ex Machina, and starring Kirsten Dunst and Kaylee Spaney, Civil War is in theaters right now. I got to see this yesterday afternoon, and I really, really enjoyed it. It doesn't go super long, which is something that I really enjoy about movies. Mm -hmm. I don't like three and a half hours just for a story that you could have wrapped up an hour sooner. So this one is an hour, 49 minutes. It is time-wise digestible, but like, it's pretty intense. I, mm -hmm. I will say that. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the previews for this one, and uh, it, it's been on my radar for a while. I'm, I'm interested to see it, and I was really interested when we learned a little bit more about the film to see that the storyline kind of follows a team of journalists. Mm -hmm. I was curious how the media narrative was going to get woven into all of it, so it looks like a really good film. It does. Definitely it looks captivating. Definitely a good film, and it stars Kaylee Spaney, and these next picks of mine, I want to really highlight her because she is a rising star in her own right, so these featured picks that I've seen from years past, they both highlight her. So the first is Priscilla. She played the titular role in the Sofia Coppola film Priscilla last year, and I call it a modern tragedy that she wasn't nominated for more than a Golden Globe for her portrayal because she was absolutely stunning, 
vulnerable and steadfast. I love this movie. It was in my top five of the year. You can stream Priscilla on Max right now. The second thing featuring her is a limited series that came to Max when it was still called HBO. Mayor of East Town, starring Kate Winslet and Kaylee Spaney. In the fictional suburb of East Town, Philadelphia, police detective Marion Mayor Sheehan investigates the recent murder of a teenage mother while trying to keep her own life from falling apart. I would stake my name on this show. I consider it one of the best shows of all time. It is a limited series from beginning to end. It wraps up in seven episodes. It stars Kate Winslet. So of course you know it's going to be at least good. It got nominated for 16 Emmys and nabbed four. Mayor of Easttown streaming on Max right now. Huh. Wow. A lot, okay. a lot to keep tabs on. I like it from both the small and the big screen and uh -huh. streaming, everything in between. I think that's uh, some really interesting picks this and week. Kaylee I like it. Spaney, a name to watch. Yeah, absolutely. it's a new name to me. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks, Emma.